Okay. Hi, hi, hello. So, we're trying a new different recording situation where, um, <clears throat> excuse me, where I record everything off uh, uh, Audacity, and then I, you know, do a thing, and then, ta-da! Hopefully, it'll sync up properly, because, or else I'm going to be sad. <laughs> But, yeah, today, this is the Mega Giga tutorial on, like, my whole process and how I, from how I do anatomy to, actually, let me check, uh, you know, oh, this is, like, my, gonna be my Giga tutorial thing. Yeah. Um, so this is gonna be recorded in two parts, and it most likely will be uploaded in two parts. It might be put together. But this is part one. Part one is where I go over not how I render things, but more of how I draw. Like, you know, like sketching and stuff. And like, and that's what this is going to be over. This is probably going to be long because I am going to be explaining a lot. So, you know, just a, uh, like a, oh god, where's my mouse? Oh, there it is. Just so you know. Okay, yeah, this works. So, first thing we're gonna start with is, well, my little, so if you watch my videos regularly, I'll throw something up in the iCard, if you, you know, if you haven't watched any of my other videos. Um, basically, what I do is you'll see is I do, let me turn on my stabilizer. Um, with no stabilizer, um, I just do a really light and loose sketch. And I'll kind of, and, and this, this part is very, oh god, I'm like freaking out. Um, this part is very important because you know, trying to figure out your shapes because for characters, even though my art style is more anime and less like cartoony, shapes are still important. So we're gonna draw, you know what? We'll draw, uh, we'll We'll draw one of my characters from the video game I want to make, you, you know, because she has a design. And I need to fix my head. Excuse me. Okay, I'm better now. Okay, everything's good. Um, but yeah. Because she has a set design, and this is just a tutorial. So, what I do is, um, for the body, as you can see, I do very light and loose. And then for the shoulders, uh, most people do some sort of shape like this. What I've learned is that when you do it like that, you have the high, a very high potential of giving your characters giraffe necks when you don't mean to because I used to do that and I regret it <laughs> so what you do is you make this little triangle that encompasses the shoulders and everything and it doesn't you know it doesn't like make it so where you're making it super long and then like the head and the head's right here and then your neck's like if you don't want it to be it's it, it's a different situation if stylistically you want it to be like that but since this is how i draw um i don't like making the neck super long um probably because in middle school be i remember someone telling me that i looked my necks looked like giraffe necks not giraffe giraffe i can speak english Yes. Yes, I can. I'm, I'm, I'm good at English. But, 
And then next I do this little oval, and the next I do um, this, this shape right here. This shape right here is, um, it's like a this shape if this helps. And because hu um, human beings and humanoid uh, creatures tend to, even if it's a little bit, taper in and then out. For guys, um, obviously the taper out is less. But um, for girls, which this character I'm going to be drawing for the Giga tutorial is going to be a girl. Um, she'll taper out a little bit more. And so you taper in. And then for the waist, um, I just draw a circle. Very light, very loose, very sketchy, you know. Because this at this stage you're not caring about details. And then next, I draw this shape. This It's like a... A pentagon um, sort of shape. Which. This character. That I'm going to be drawing. She doesn't exactly have a name yet. She has a placeholder name of Glenn. Uh, but she's very thick. So. Yes. And so for women. It tapers out more. And then for men. The body shape would be more like. that and so, so yeah and then for the le arms and legs um i just draw very light loose circles and then for the joints as you can see right here i just do even lighter like you know that's an oval that's a circle but you know just the light loose you know sort of thing and then, uh, we're gonna hide a hand. Um, that's a staple of my art is to hide the hands. Uh, <laughs> you know it's my art when it's an incredibly detailed character hiding the hands. <laughs> um, This character, she's also quite tall. Um. And then. I. Also, whatever you sketch in is fine. Um, once we get more to the line art and the rendering, it will be specific to the program. But right now, it's not. And then for the arms, like I said, it's just light, loose ovals. Um, and then with the joints. Um, there are some tips, like anatomy tips I get, I should give. So, if you're just doing an arm down and then, like, the hand. Um, one thing I should say, um, where the hip is is where the wrist should, uh, be. At least, um, on, um, and for mo characters being proportionally accurate. And, uh, for more masculine guy characters, whatever, um, make the hands longer. Because normally... Um, like generally, extremely generally, anatomically, guys have, what can you, have, um, longer arms. Just so you know. And then, oh, her head's too small. I'll fix it in a minute. Um, also don't be afraid to adjust. Because I adjust all the time in my drawings because, you know. Yeah. Also, okay, so while I'm doing this, um, and just adjusting and making sure that my sketch isn't caca, um... I'll tell you about this character in case anyone is interested. I'll give a little bit of information. I'm going to make a video. But her placeholder name is Glenn. I'm going to try to find something more Romanian. For her name. But basically, um, she's a vampire serial killer. I've had this idea for years. Um, where basically... Um, she goes and transfers from school to school all across the world, um, seduces, 
seduces people and then like drinks their blood, you know, um, or like students. Um, originally, uh, the idea did kind of spark when in middle school from Yonder Simulator. Uh, so there are some similar, there are some similarities to it, like it being in high school. Um, but I'm thinking about it maybe going from place to place and then, um, also another thing. So, you know, it's going to be different. And I'm not sure if this will ever come out or not because I don't know how to make video games. But yeah, let's continue on with the next thing because you're not here to hear me talk about random stuff. Um, okay. So I, t um, I try to keep my colors in the same tones in like, like the same general color palette for speed paints so that it doesn't make your eyes bleed. But normally, um, I try to pick com really different colors. Um, so when then when I finally clean up the sketch, I know what parts to erase and what parts are where on what layer. So we're gonna do that also so you can tell the difference between different parts. So, here I'll use marker, that'll be easier. So, actually, you know what, whatever. Okay, so basically, uh, next. This next part is, okay, so if you're doing this traditionally, lightly erase. If you're doing this digitally, just do what I do, make a new layer and then lower the opacity um, on the next layer. And basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over our shapes um, and make them more anatomically correct. Uh, because, you know, Shoulders aren't triangles, and you know, arms aren't like ovals. Shh. Um. Don't sneeze. Don't sneeze. I didn't sneeze. Woo! Okay. <laughs> and then, okay. Normally, I'll draw the clothes over, but for this intensive purpose, we're just gonna draw all the anatomy. Also, I just realized I forgot something. Let me go to green. Okay. I forgot to add circles for the chest. Um, I should give some pointers. Uh, for placing um, the chest, um, put it right under this triangle because it'll make it easier. And then just add these light, loose circles um, closer, kind of closer to the center instead of making them like go like across the world, you know? Um, but yeah. That's uh, ha some help for the under sort of sketch. And so you start in and you know, just add your neck. Um, I tend to make my necks really skinny, uh, you, you know. And then adding in chest basically my best uh, tips for how to draw you know a chest is don't do that like like don't do like no uh, that just looks terrifying but do this uh, make it to cuz they're just sacks of fat like sitting on your chest like a water uh, sitting on a chest like a water balloon so just think of them like that and then you know draw them at least that's well i got told that's the best way to do that uh i made a boobs too big <laughs> um but yeah that's the best way to do it Also another thing, this character is a little bit more, uh, cause she's a seductress vampire. I did design her with that sort of in mind. So she does have a kind of a seductress vampire body type. So yeah. Mm. 
Just realized this is almost Resident Evil and then Hitman and then Yandere Simulator and Hitman put together because she's also really freaking tall. Oh uh, no. Uh, we're just not gonna think about that. We're just not gonna think about that. Uh. Okay, and then next, you just draw the, like, the crotch area. For a guy, um, just kind of, I do that for like pants. Cause, um, I don't really know how to do it any other way, really. She's, um, in this drawing, she's stepping over her other leg. So you can see I'm trying to like, you know, show that off by making like this go up really high so that you, 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 you can see that it's she's like stepping over her other leg. Damn, you know, I should have warmed up because this doesn't look right and I can't pinpoint why. I think it's because her body's too big. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, let me fix that. Yeah, that, that's better. That looks a lot better. better, a little better. That looks better, but yeah, don't be afraid, um, even traditionally, if you think the head is too big or the body, or, well, if the body looks too big, uh, just keep on increasing the size of the head if you're doing it traditionally, be because it'll be a pain to do it digitally. I mean, traditionally. My bad. But if you're doing it digitally in the head uh, and the body looks too big, just do what I did and resize the body. You know? And then for arms, sometimes uh, when I'm sketching, I do this sort of doll cut arm sort of thing where there's a line in between the two places. Boop, there's a belly button. Um. Okay, and then for hands. For hands, um, in the sketch phase, you saw I was trying to mock up a shape of the hand that I wanted because, okay, I got this from a Lavender Town video uh, <laughs> because she didn't do this, not that, on how to draw hands. So this isn't like my original advice, but I'll say it here. Um, it's kind of just to draw the shape of the hand and then draw the hand over instead of overthinking the hand. There's something wrong with that. Okay. Uh. Yeah, part two will definitely be my big drawing pro- like how I render stuff. But right now this is just anatomy because I'm going to have to cut this up into two different recording sections. Definitely. But yeah. That. One, two, three. Four. There's something wrong with that hand and I can't put my hand on it. I mean, I can't, yeah, I can't put my finger on it. <laughs> Maybe I need to rotate it? That looks a little better. 
Uh, yeah, and then in here will be like, yeah, and that'll be like a box cutter knife looking thing. Uh, you can tell I don't reference weapons. <laughs> uh, but yeah, now after the basic body is done, and if you want to on this layer, you can, uh, cause she's a vampire, she has pointy ears, so we're gonna put the pointy ears, and then you can put the basic shape of, like, the head in for when you do the hair, but you'll probably end up erasing this later. Just so you know. And then next, I do the hair, and for the hair, um, cause I'm doing this all in a bunch of wacky different colors so you guys can see everything differently, like, I'm gonna do a blue... Um, I would normally pick a darker, a, a darker red, but we're gonna do this. And next, um, actually next let's do the face. For the face, we'll do a pink, you know what? So, uh, tr okay, so the forehead on most people takes up, like, a quarter or a third of the face. I think that it's... So try to leave a good amount, even if it doesn't show, like if your character has bangs, when you draw the eyes, try to leave like that much forehead, um, so that they can have a forehead. Um, and then, and then with eyes, I do many different eye shapes because this character is more of like an evil character. We're going to do my pointy eye shape. Instead of, because I have a rounder eye shape that goes like this, and it's like adorable. Also, let me move these eyes down a little bit. Because I just made her look older than, she, than this character really is. Um. Also, another thing, to detect a character's age, just, um, give them bigger eyes and a bigger forehead. Because kids have, most of the time, they have bigger eyes and bigger foreheads. Because they're not growing, grown into themselves yet. Uh, fun facts with Mia. And then I do eyelashes, which is just, you know, that, doing that, um. But yeah, that is the face. I'm gonna erase this part because we don't really need it. And then eyebrows. Don't forget eyebrows. I was about to forget eyebrows. <laughs> and then... Uh, another thing to get important to give a forehead is so that your eyebrows have plenty of space. I'm gonna move this up a little bit so the mouth has a little bit more room. There we go. So that the eyebrows have plenty of space to eyebrow. Wait, did my model catch when I lift my eyebrows? Oh, it does. Whoa, that's fancy. Uh, <laughs> Next is the hair, which the hair will do in a blue, so you can see the complete difference. So, when I sketch hair, I normally add in bangs, and I start at this part of the forehead. Um, so it's important to mark mark the forehead because that's where you start. If you're gonna add bangs, that's where the bangs start. Um, and you just what I do is I make these like this is gonna probably be hard, uh, but make sort of long loopy triangles. You know? Because these are kind of just wimpy, bendy noodle triangles. And make them all, make sure they kind of, like, start and end on this part of the head for the bangs. And then, for having your hair up, because this character has pigtails, uh, make sure all your bendy triangles kind of lead to that part of the head where the little, where the dot is. 
Because this character, she has like half up, half down sort of hair. So where the dot is. And then this is what I do for fun whenever I have characters with their hair up. I always like to give them little, like, little sticky fly-ups. You know? And then just, you know, stick them on. There's something strange. I can't put my finger on it. There's something uncanny about her face. I haven't warmed up today, so you're gonna have to excuse the art skill. I forgot to warm up. Like a like the big brain individual I am. Also, it's okay if your bangs cover up your eyes a little bit. Uh, from someone who has bangs, it happens. Um, they just grow out, and then you look like an emo character. Uh, but yeah. And then for when the hair is down, start it at the, like, you know, where the head actually is. And then just make, so th imagine where your hair, okay, so, okay, I'll, you see that light blue, do you see the, these light blue lines? Um, that's the way I want my hair, the hair to go, right? And just make a, uh, just make a shape and then make a, a noodle, a noodle triangle. You know, doing that thing that you want it to do. And then make some noodle triangles tapering off the big noodle triangle. So that it'll like, you know, look like there's fly away, like hair flying away from each other because hair, you know, fluffs up and fluffs away. Like on my model, you can see on the, it's my left and my left is your left. Okay. So, okay. So on my left, you see that one piece of hair that's just going like swoosh away. Hair does that, you know, they, it doesn't always, it doesn't always stay together. It's chaotic. You know? So that is the basic of how to do, how I like, sketch out hair. And then, clothing. Uh, we'll make the clothes purple. So, this character has a very specific school uniform because I've only designed one of their outfits, which is the first part of the video game I want to make, where she's in an all-girls school. And yes, it's very gay. Um, <laughs> so, it's... It's just... Um, I can't give some tips on clothing wrinkles because those can be a bit difficult. So there are different types of fabric that wrinkle differently, and I don't completely understand this, so I'm not going to act like I'm like the encyclo- I'm going to, you know, yeah. We're going to make her bald for a little bit while I can make, so I can make these clothes look okay. And like for the looser fabrics, like lighter, unless like hard, I guess, would be the best way to put it. Like the button-up shirt under her little uniform dress thing that's gonna have that's gonna wrinkle way way more than um the uniform dress thing because it's i imagine it being made out of a harder stronger material uh so there will be less wrinkles on it And, uh, depending on, like, uh, hip width and, like, bust width, width, I guess, or size, um, of any sort of any character, there'll be stretching and wrinkles of how the clothes fit, um, like, where the hips are, where they're, like, kind of, like, they go out a little bit. This dress, it kind of wrinkles right there because, you know, it's kind of making the fabric go out a little bit. You know? And then for um, pleated skirts, 
because uh, this dress does end it up pleated skirt. Just uh, the base point is kind of this part, right? And then for just draw these rectangles that just kind of all are all next to each other and make sure they all kind of move in a motion like like imagine there's an arrow and it's like pointing like that and you want all your things to go into an arrow or I'll make the arrow point in the other direction because that's the direction I'm going to make the skirt move um make sure all your pleats are kind of um, or all your little rectangles are all flinging in said direction that you want it to fling in. Uh, at least that's how I've figured out the easiest way to accomplish doing this properly. You know, and then let's erase the arrow because we do not need it anymore. Um, also another thing. If I don't make any sense, please, I will clarify in the comments or I will make some sort of clarification video. Um, because I do want, you know, to help you guys if you guys want my help or you want my advice or whatever. Because I love, to, I, I actually, I really like teaching people how to draw. It's, it's fun for me. Uh, I have a little cousin and even though she's very annoying about it um uh, i like teaching her how to draw it's you know it's nice even though well she's eight so i can't imagine her to understand everything i say but yeah it's fun you know and then she has a uh, these thigh high socks that um some thigh high socks will do this thing where they'll pinch in i've worn socks like these before and Kind of to stay up where they are on the thigh, they kind of have to like pinch your leg a little bit to like grip on. So there'll be a no, a lot of the time there'll be like a little pinch, you know, for there to be like a uh, show that there's like a grip to it, you know. So keep that in mind. And then I was like, oh, did I forget to do the hair? But then I realized. <laughs> I already did the hair, I just uh, made her bald for a little bit so that I could. And then, the next part of this, um, erase all the overlapping parts. So you can see I'm erasing this part of the head. Um, for the body, I'm gonna be erasing everything under the clothes. Um, if you're doing this traditionally, um, erase as many lines as you can. Uh, you don't have to erase all of them, but if you're digital just go ham Ned here I need to fix I need to fix some things just some little some like a tad a couple I realized aren't really on model well not on model but in my head for because she doesn't even have a model yet or a reference sheet yet wait yeah and then her outfit has buttons but that's not a part of the tutorial and then there, and then the next thing you do is you merge all your layers down, and then what I do, so that the line art phase doesn't hurt my eyes, because I know this is, this is, this burns my eyes. Um, I get the airbrush, I get, a, like, like a nice, nice color on the eyes, and then... You see now it's a pretty pink sketch. I just I showed you the ways. It's pretty. It's pink. It's not gonna burn my eyes. And I merge it down, and that is the sketch. Um. So I am going to okay. And another thing that you should do is save. Oh shit! Where's my mouse? There it is. Boop -a -doop.
Okay, I saved it. Good, that's good for me. I'm not gonna lose all this work. But yeah, this is how I sketch and how I do my anatomy and stuff. Soon I will do a line art and how I color and a rendering tutorial. But for now, this is the tutorial. Um, hopefully I don't have to edit much and this will be out um, on Saturday at noon. And it was really cool uh, teaching you guys some stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. Maybe even on stream. Uh, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye. Thank you.